Hey everyone, it's Saturday and I hope that you're all enjoying a restful, restorative weekend. These weeks can be quite intense right now and I know that every day is bringing unexpected, energetic hurdles for us all, whether we are consciously feeling it or not. So during this video, I want to introduce a term that I have been really enjoying for my own healing process, and I want to offer it to you, and that is this concept of energetic thawing. So what is this? Energetic thawing, as far as I'm connecting with it, is this experience that happens when we engage in a deep restorative healing process. When we go through our lives and we swallow a lot, we swallow our feelings, we swallow traumatic experiences, we swallow life, and we don't really have the tool set to connect with love. And so what ends up happening over the course of our lives is that we just continue to swallow and then we get really frozen or numb or dissociated or congested with all of these past moments that are just kind of sitting down in our body waiting for us to return, to connect, to breathe, to be present with, to use our intention to go into, to engage with an emotional healing protocol or, or tool set or an energetic healing protocol or tool set and to really start this process of unpacking it all. And so what happens before engaging in a self-healing program is oftentimes that we find ourselves getting um, what I often will call comfortably numb in our lives. It's the time before the storm really starts to surface in our bodies where we're just kind of plodding along in our lives and things are just okay. We're still ticking off the check boxes of, you know, attaining the perfect relationship, family, job, house, car, material possessions. But inevitably, if you're like me and so many others of us, we arrive at this place where there's just an emptiness within. The outside material possessions are not enough to fill that void inside. And so there's that crossroads that we get to where we realize, okay, well, <laughs> I thought that this material thing or this job or this you know, career path would help me to attain the thing that I've been wanting and seeking this whole time, which is contentment, love, connection, enjoyment, pleasure. But inevitably it doesn't because when we arrive at that place where we are filled by the outside, we realize that there's still an emptiness. And so when we start to go in to explore what, how possibly could we fill back in again from the inside out, we encounter all of the congestion, right? All of that stuff that we never really thought we would ever have to feel. We thought maybe if we just swallowed life whole, that it would just somehow go through us, but the truth is it doesn't, it stays. It remains within us, lying dormant until we go in. And so that brings us to this energetic thaw. So Claire and I are here to help you, to teach you with whatever other tools you're bringing to this community to start this process of transmutation. Transmutation is supporting that process of the thaw so these energies are stuck down there. They're not moving very well. Energy only wants to move and flow. And when we align with these energies, when we go into the center of the pain of that, whether emotional charge or that physical charge that's causing pain, when we connect with it, when we feel it, when we allow it, when we breathe into it, when we are present with it, it starts to thaw. We start to thaw. And so this concept of thaw is really a process of transmutation, but the reason that I'm bringing this to you is not to talk about transmutation, but to describe something else that I'm finding is happening for me, and I just want to offer a little bit of support around this for you. When I personally was numb, I could do a lot more um, without feeling things than I can now. My workload was always very high as a physician running a solo medical practice. I could go all day long 
and my own self-care consisted of a CrossFit workout in the morning. And that was pretty much it. Meditation was interwoven in my life at that point. I attended AA meetings regularly at that point, so I had my spiritual box checked. I had my um, meditation box checked. I had my workout box checked. And then I would just launch into a day and I would barely think about anything. And I'd give and give and give and give and give and see patients all day long without really breathing into my body at all. And I didn't feel a whole lot of it. I took in a lot of other people's suffering and pain and I just gave. And then at the end of the day, oftentimes, my cup was pretty empty, but I would go home and have dinner with my family and fall asleep and you know, feel pretty wiped out. And I'd wake up and I'd do it all over again and it was fine. I didn't feel anything back then, or at least I felt just very little. Now that I'm engaged with my own healing, I feel so much more. And what I'm finding is that I'm much more sensitive. And that's the thought. Energetic sensitivity is real. And the deeper that we go into our self-healing work, the more sensitive it's likely that you will become. And so when this happens, it can be a little bit confusing. And I'll, exp I'll just offer an example of what this looked like for me just yesterday. So I work a lot during the work week and I'm preparing for a course that I'm running next week to a group of doctors. And so as a result of that, on top of my normal regular workload, I have an enhanced workload because I'm also creating and preparing for a course. So I've been working seven days a week for a couple weeks now. Not all day long, but just so much that I've been feeling an internal little voice, my little self saying, I'm tired, I'm overwhelmed, I'm out of balance, I need more rest. And because I'm used to how I used to be, I've been pushing through. So I'm used, my brain is used to feeling rather numb. And going through, I mean, medical training is exactly that. It's a dissociation of sorts from self. It's an abandonment from self is really what it is. And so we've all just learned how to suck it up, right? Dust ourselves off, go forward with our lives, disregard our own basic needs. And I have conditioned myself to ignoring my own basic needs. And I actually was applauded for that. Wow, look at how much you can do in a day. Look at how many patients you can see. And we, we all have done this at some point in our lives. And hopefully you're starting to change that within your life as I know I am, but it's not an easy one. And so yesterday my body got to the point where I was exhausted, but it was like I was still just ignoring the call from within, my soul was saying, I have new needs now. That's the thought. When we have our needs beginning to be known from the inner recesses of our body, as our body starts to thaw, what has happened for me is if I ignore those basic needs, then it erupts in an emotional storm. And that's exactly what happened for me to yesterday. Claire and I were engaged in a pretty heated moment and I got really triggered because I was becoming very rigid and inflexible over um, a work-related issue that we were talking about. And thankfully, because I've, I've been engaging with emotional tools for a while now, I erupted a little bit. I discharged my discomfort onto her. It had nothing to do with her. And I knew enough to get into my car, go for a drive, tuck into the woods and cry. And I let it out. This thaw is something new. Knowing that there are needs inside of me that are needing to be met. It's beautiful when we can hear that, when we can honor that, when we can give in to those primal needs of our little ones. And what do, we, what do we need? We need love. We need rest. We need food. We need nurturing. That's it. When we can, can honor and care for our basic needs, our body can thrive. When we ignore those needs, our body goes into survival. And so I was in survival and I didn't even know it. So as you engage with these tools that we're bringing, as you engage with whatever your 
energetic and emotional tool set becomes, I encourage you to just sit with this concept of thawing. Because the thaw means that your body's going to have more to say. You may feel more emotional at times. You may feel more physical pain at times. You may need more rest at times. You may need more food at times. You always need more water. And as you thaw, it is not a sign of weakness to honor your needs. In fact, it is part of the healing process because your body is literally rewiring itself from the level of energy up into the level of neurology and then up into the level of your body, your tissues, your soma. And as you thaw, you thaw from the inside out, you rewire from the inside out and therefore there's gonna be a period of time, most likely if you're like me, where things are gonna feel a little bit disconnected, a little bit more raw because this thawing creates new sensations, new emotions. It allows more to flow. And that is the goal of all of this. When you restore your connectivity to yourself and to that channel that runs through your body, when you reconnect to earth and you reconnect to source, and now you are just wide open and flowing, you're no longer frozen and numb. That is the most beautiful experience that you've actually come here to witness and to engage in. And so this period of thawing is an honoring. How can you honor yourself as your body is healing, as your body is rewiring, as your body is unfreezing itself from the states of disconnection, numbness, and being really incoherent? It's uncomfortable at times. And, you know, I know that we get used to powering through our days. It's an easy one. To just continue and I ask and encourage that you just think about this where can you add in more rest where can you add in more time to listen to breathe to come back into your body to be still because the more that you do the easier this thawing process will be for you and when you feel really uncomfortable, like you're coming out of your skin, if you're feeling some emotions that you don't want to feel, I know that one too. When you go into the middle of it, when you just allow those feelings to flow, you breathe, you show up for yourself in the most loving ways, you bring that flow back into the core of that iced down density and that transmutation of energy starts to open you up from the inside out. You thaw from the inside out and this whole process unfolds around you and through you. So it's not an easy process and I'm finding that the deeper I go and engaging particularly with the emotional tools, the energetic tools have been really just pure magic. The energetic work is so beautiful to witness because you literally go from a state of feeling stressed out and incoherent when you engage with a self-healing energetic practice within minutes you can transform your body into one of coherence calm and expansion and reconnection it's the emotional tools that I personally find to be more challenging because when those emotions start to rise up to be felt and expressed and there's charge there I know for me, I want to run away. That's my, that's just something that I've been very accustomed to doing. And so now the call is go in, go in, go inside. That's where, that's where the thaw begins inside in the core. So this is a rewiring process for all of us. We're doing this together and this is why, because it's not easy, but it is pure magic. You will restore your body to pure, limitless love. So I hope this helps you and I will see you next time.